Hi guys, this is Ms. Kurganan. I am going to record a brief video here on how to put together your World Geography Final. It's called the UN Critical Challenge, and it's called the Critical Challenge because you've hopefully decided upon an, an idea, an, an issue, a problem that your UN country is facing that's so important that this problem needs to be solved for your country to improve in development and peace and just overall happiness for its inhabitants. So to get ready for this final, you need to fill out your critical challenge rough draft worksheet. This worksheet, I have a couple hyperlinks here if you still are wanting to look at other ideas for your um, problem. But when you are ready to make this recording, we're going to hope, um, Mr. DiCarlo and I, that you have gotten this already filled out and checked off by us before you begin your recording. We really want you to have an idea of where you're headed in that audio or video recording um, so that you make the best use of your time. So we're asking that Monday and Tuesday you put together your rough draft. Wednesday and Thursday is when we're going to give you time to do the recording. So when you're recording, you're going to start off just introducing yourself and your country. What is your country? And before you just jump into what the problems are, we want us you to give a little overview of what you found interesting as you've studied this country. Please tell us about two UN projects. Maybe you want to talk about your map or the landform trip you took or your culture figure or that population slideshow or your economic display or your political map. What's something that you did that you found interesting in that project? For instance, if I was doing the United States, I would talk about in my slideshow of the United States, I think it's interesting that we're a stage four country with low birth and death rates, but we still have a rising population due to migration. I think that's interesting. So you're gonna talk about two different projects. Then you're gonna jump into the critical challenge. And you are going to talk about why is this a problem? Now this part B is pretty hefty because notice that you need to include statistical data. Just like when you were putting together your economic display and you were trying to prove those categories with stats and numbers, we want you to back up what the problem is with data. If you're talking about the environment, how much, how many acres of the area are we talking about? If you are talking about unemployment, what is the unemployment rate right now in that UN country? So you'll have some statistical data to back that up. Then part C, as you talk about part C, this is called the rationale. You have chosen this critical challenge as being the most important because all their other problems in that UN country depend upon this one being solved. Like you have to solve education before you fix the economy, for instance, or maybe you've decided that you need to focus on the flooding before you have better agriculture in your country. So in part C is how you are going to be um, showing us how all of it fits together, why this problem um, is going to be the first one to solve before you solve others, that, they, that it depends on it. Then part D, this is your country recommendation. The whole idea of the United Nations is a peacekeeping group that of, of countries around the nation that um, collect money to improve development and to ensure peace in other countries. So you're, you're hitting up the United Nations for money. And as the leader, how are you going to spend it? This is your very detailed three-step approach. First you do what, then you do what, then what are you going to do to fix the problem in your country? The last part of your critical challenge is the assessment. What will be the signs in the future to know that your program has worked? You will see unemployment numbers rise, or you will see the amount of deforestation decrease. So what is it going to look like? How will you know that your efforts have been successful? While you are putting this recording together, we ask that you speak to either two maps diagrams or charts that have evidence and support your critical challenge. These, if you are making a video recording, you can just show to the camera. If you are doing an audio recording, then we ask that you submit these along with your audio file on Thursday. 
for your work cited because this is an academic research pro project in high school, we're asking that you defend where you got your sources. What is your bibliography? You need to defend at least three academic sources of information. You can either tell us about these sites and where you got your information, or you could upload your works cited or bibliography with your visuals. And then you are going to submit this to um, the portal on Thursday. So I hope that this made sense. We hope that it's um, a doable final for you, and we are absolutely available for help um, to help um, you with your research if you need it. So again, your timeline for this, Monday and Tuesday will be your rough draft, getting this filled out, checked off by Mr. DiCarlo and Ms. Kurganen, and then Wednesday and Thursday will be when you'll have time for your recording. And what are we doing Friday? Friday we're doing a group project. Talk to you later. Bye.